And I think if we move towards, and I think that's the challenge when we're looking at working with the private sector, is we need to try and transition away um, from corporate social responsibility or un identify what the role of corporate social responsibility can be to potentially build upon, uh, to build these models which can be scaled into a commercial enterprise. Because I think that's what we're looking at in sustainability for uh, an effective. Uh, we need to, for an effective partnership to develop, there needs to be something on both sides of that. Um, that is a very challenging, that's a very challenging thing to do, and there's a lot of political concerns around that, obviously, I mean, to be very clear and transparent about how organizations are uh, engaged in activities which are commercially uh, uh, driven. Um, and there are, there are peri there, and they need to be clear that there are some areas within the supply chain, for example, that are not appropriate for the private sector to be involved in. So I'd just like to emphasize this point about organizing for the long term. As a private sector entity, I think a lot of us in companies have built over time very robust CSR groups. But our question at, in my company at Johnson & Johnson, Yance and the pharmaceutical companies, is can we move that CSR sensibility from distant from the business to deep within the business? Can we take that from the margins to the middle and really begin to imbue in our culture as a company a mindset that's driven toward global development? Can we empower the many tens of thousands of employees that we have within our company to begin thinking beyond core markets or begin thinking in new ways that necessitate collaboration and bring their own creativity to it? Can we validate that on the business side? And we've launched in our own organization a test case of this, hopefully much more than a pilot, that really seeks to redesign our business for the long term, for global development, for maximum impact and maximum good. And we've, it, one year into it, have seen this transformative effect on our culture as a business. It's uh, uh, When we think about triple bottom line, we believe we're really realizing it and for the first time demonstrating to the point about business case and sustainability, we're beginning to demonstrate that investment in global public health can be truly a growth enabler for the business, which five years ago may have been cast off as as a pipe dream or a fiction, but today because we're bringing our business mindset to it, because we've empowered the business to bring its best talent to the problems of global public health, we foresee great things in the future for the larger world, for the patients we serve, and even for our business. So we look forward to realizing that trajectory over time, but it is about organizing for the long term and it's incumbent on us as private sector entities to see these collaborations and our participation in this space as much more sustainable, much deeper, and going far beyond, to Ramil's point, far beyond a pilot model that is uh, uh, that is uh, served served us well in some respects, but that um, bears an evolution at this point. So we look forward to carrying that evolution forward with longer-term projects toward longer-term capacity building.